All right, guys, the first tip video of the year touched on defense because I think that defense is really hard to come by. But after watching this video, you guys should have your defense in order for a while. So let's now talk about offense. Now, before talking about offense, first of all, I want to remind you that if you do not want to miss any of my future videos on Madden 22, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would help me out a lot. First, note that. And second, note that i'm not in my beloved gun bunch i'm not in gun bunch offset which i could be in for this video but i'm going to start by making a mini scheme on trips tight end offset i absolutely love this formation it became a little bit more popular at the end of last year i played some people who really dotted me up in this because i hadn't faced it a whole year but it is really creative and it's a nice combination of the run in the past what i will do in this video is this is the first part of the uh, trip side and offset ebook i'll try to make these videos really short if i do this all in one video this would just be way too long and you guys couldn't follow so we'll break this down play by play i will start with the best play in my opinion of this formation pa crossers and kind of some philosophy on this now philosophy by that i mean what do you want to do out of this formation philosophy for bun for gun bunch for example will be just pass the ball all over the field that is a that is a very simplistic version of the philosophy in gun bunch but for trips and offset, it's not quite like that. It is very much a combination of the run in the pass game that makes this offense successful. And let's get into it. When we start our audibles, we want to make sure that uh, we have a nice run play, especially out of this. If you want to really run the ball heavily, you can also put two run plays in there. My recommendation would be uh, RP alert, RPO alert bubble as my first run. If I want two runs in there, then I can go uh, with. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? RP on level. Uh, do we not have a second good run in this? What? I was sure we're gonna have. You can go with read option if you have fast quarterback. But what I would recommend, anyways, because I don't want to run plays in my audibles, I want level C. Level C is an uh, every down play that you can just call whenever, whenever, wherever you want. And now here it becomes very tricky. It becomes about personal preference. Whether you want to put uh, key verticals in there because verticals is kind of a decent play, but it's not really what I'm going for. You can keep it in there. Other option will be this shock eight edge option, which is really interesting. And then another option will be this X under scat. Nah, I wouldn't really consider that one. Tight end in that is another way, uh, or. Yeah, tight end, and that's pretty much it. But I would go with Shock Age option if I were you, and I would keep PA crosses just because it's so good. Now, when we set our audibles, we never want to come out in any of, in one of those four plays. Now, if I 100% know that I'm going to be running levels uh, level sale, then I'm I'm gonna come on level sale. But in general, as a rule of thumb, you never want to come out in the, one of those four plays that you have in your audibles because you can go to them anytime you want when you're at the line of scrimmage. So you want to give yourself an extra play so you can switch in between five plays and some other formations. But I'm getting off topic here. Let's freaking talk about it. Uh, run the ball as often as possible. This is a really nice formation. Uh, to run the ball out of because it really forces your opponents first of all it stretches out the defense because it's a trip set so the linebacker is off to the side the nickel cornerback which a lot of people running is off to the side it's a really difficult alignment to stop the run against uh so let's just run this rpo alert bubble i'll even flip this so now i'll just snap this ball and i'll, I'll try to take it up the field this really looked terrible i'm not gonna lie to you uh, but we can just do this over and over again. We can even ID the mic on this guy. I think this guy is, would be the uh, most troublesome. And then we can just try to hit, just try to hit the gap. If you feel comfortable with the run, or if you, if you don't feel comfortable, you can also just do this. Do this. Oh my god. Can we do that again? Let's run that back. Let's try that again. Gonna snap this ball. Circle. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. I threw it a little bit early, maybe. And now you can see how we have some nice yards going there. But this is not about running the ball exclusively we want to talk about pa crossers now the main route of this play is the crossing right it's just that way so what we what you do by to accompany this is you put a delay fade on tanyan you want to put uh see the issue is oh my god i'm gonna sorry guys i'm gonna have to come on a new play uh you can see the audibles i can still make the audibles it will register it in the game but so somehow in practice mode they got a bug in there that you can't see the audibles so okay now we got it nice and fixed let's go i'm gonna put cop on a drag and i'm gonna put uh, uh adams on a deep in route which is just an in route and then smart route that in route 
And with the running back, you can do whatever you want. You can put it on the out route left. You can block him. Now you see you can't uh, you can't see my adjustments. But for the first thing, we're just gonna block him. And I cancel that play action. And that crossing route is amazing. It gets open so easily. Don't even need a clear out. Now let's say, okay, I'm gonna make the same setup. Uh, I'm gonna roll outside of the pocket. The play is gonna break down a little bit. Then I'm just gonna press X, release that tight end, and throw it to him. That is such a that is such a pain in the behind for players to cover. It really it personally it infuriates me because it's so effective. Uh but you should use it. I mean, you can use it, and it's totally fair to use it. Take advantage of that. It is a great way uh, to use this. <laughs> I said this like 20 times. Now, you can see that I put uh, Jones on a wheel route. Uh, that is another thing that you can do. So, uh, you can see he's on his wheel route. He's going to take that guy up the field, which is not smart. But this would just be another option for you to throw to. Or you can put him on an in route just like that. It really depends on what you want to go for. But for now, let's just keep this as our sim. Oh my god, you can't see it. I'll run this play, sorry. Let's just run it. Send the tight end out. Out, get, get out, okay. If you roll out, then the tight end is going to have an easier time releasing than if you don't roll out. Okay, that is our first setup. Second setup is going to be uh, very similar to this one. You're going to put Tani on a streak. You're going to put Adams and Cobb both on drags. Then you're going to motion snap across the field just like that and now this looks so easy but here's the thing oh my god uh with how slow defenses are right now with just how bad they are reacting reacting to stuff uh it just becomes really really simple to throw the ball to a drag and then get take uh, get some yards uh taking up the field it's really really simple and you guys should oh my god I even have terrible uh, linemen at the defense in the, at the defensive line just to make sure uh, that that does not happen. But we just we just can't pick up a block right now, guys. What's up with that? One more time, let's try this because I just want I want to throw this crossing route. It, it's just it's it's such a nice route. I really just want to throw it. Nice, boom. Now we're gonna take it up the field and throwing it to the drag route. It's so easy. I have had a couple of games with 100% completion percentage against people who were running not terrible defense but just because people are so slow in the defensive backfield or even linebackers especially they just cannot get out there so you just throw the drag and then try to make get some extra yards uh, make people miss but yeah there's not much more to this you can there's some basic variations where you can then just uh, do something like this where you have the drag and then you just motion it over you have three routes crossing across the middle one of them is going to not be able to be covered by the user at first or when the play develops one of them has to get open because they also at different levels you, you would need the perfect defense to accompany that and then of course once we get uh, further down the line passing plays will beat that defense just because we have different pass setups to beat different coverages and also ne never forget your opponent still has to worry about you running the ball and that's just a difficult combination to deal with i think we're done here i don't know if there's much more that you, i need uh, you guys need me need to hear from me barely anybody is running cover two but if they were running cover two uh first of all we could beat him with the streak just like this down the sideline just like that that is why people are not running cover two because it's just absolutely terrible uh that's the first thing and second thing we could beat him with if they ran cover two uh, I spend so much time talking about cover three because that's the meta defense right now. Uh, but we could just do something like this. Just look at the post, man. Just look at this post route. Oh my god, this doesn't. Have, it didn't actually look that good. That was a terrible pass, but we still got it open. Okay, I think that's enough. Also against man coverage, I I'm not sure if I need to point this out to you guys. Uh, some people that are uh, more lo more loyal to the channel know a lot about Madden. You will understand how this crossing route is just gonna destroy man coverage. You see how we get a step oh my god <laughs> that is amazing okay let's try that again let's try that one more time that looks so horrible it looks horrible i was sure that we're gonna beat him because i've, I've not struggled with man coverage at all this year even some uh, routes that didn't uh, used to beat man coverage okay this okay never mind scratch that you haven't heard that still nevertheless we're done now i hope you guys enjoyed this video even if that last main coverage bit was a little bit of a fail I hope you guys understand now why I like this play so much, why I like this formation so much. The combination of the run and the pass is amazing. Once again, the reason why the run in this formation is so good because the defense has to just spread out against the trip set. And with 
us basically knowing that our opponent is in cover three because cover two is not at all viable we can precisely attack cover three and there are so many things that you can do with this uh which i will go actually no i was thinking about doing some more sets but i think we're done for this video check in uh throughout the next days and weeks uh, I'll, I'll finish this game and then we will get onto the good stuff which is gun punch my bread and butter i love this offense every year you can be excited for that watch the last defensive tips video if you need help with defense and i'm signing off as always i hope you guys learned something and peace out i love y'all